This 26 Sports and CCTV High School Football presentation is brought to you by Wolverine Power Cooperative and Great Lakes Energy. Your local electric cooperative is looking out for you. And by Munson Healthcare Cadillac Rehab Services. All right, welcome back for the beginning of the game. Chad Grundy along with Bill Dooley, and we are just minutes away from the start of the game. We have our national anthem. A beautiful rendition of our national anthem by the Manton Rangers High School Marching Band. And uh, it's turning out to be a good night. It was a little iffy there earlier, Chad. Yeah, it's, you know, we're back into a little football weather now. You know, not these 90 degrees out. It's <laughs> going to be nice tonight, so. Yeah, a squall came through here before when we were setting up earlier, knocked one of our cameras down. So we're down to uh, two cameras uh, for tonight's game. But uh, I'm sure our crew will do the, a great job. And that's pretty cool, really, when you look in high school sports and you can see a, a horse galloping across the field. It's going to be a fun night for homecoming here. Uh, big rivalry game. Yes, uh, what do we have, about 15 miles separating these two towns well, you know, here, 15-20? They, uh, they have the big basketball rivalry, and I think it carries over to football season. So this should be, uh, you know, these kids, they, they want to one-up each other all the time. So it should be a fun one tonight. Thinking back to your coaching days, uh, did, is there one game in particular that sticks out between these two teams where, you know, just a, a drag down battle? Oh, I think I, I was telling you earlier, you know, we came down here, I think it was 2011, and you know, we were undefeated, and uh, they were struggling a little bit, but boy, we struggled to get out of, get a win out of here that night. I mean, when you come here to play, they play you hard, so you yeah. know, definitely a home field advantage here. Beautiful facility this first time I've been here, so really, really nice, uh, really nice field and press box. Yeah, they've done a lot of upgrades here lately, and uh, you know, this is a really nice place. All right, our introductions now. Number two for the Manton Rangers, Jacob War. Number five, Jaden Perry. Number seven is Hunter Rule. Nine, Gavin Summers. Eleven, Trevor Solani. 14 is Ethan Ansick. 20, Grant Bungie. 22, Nick Dunham. 22, Nick Dunham. 25, Seth Sparks. 25, Seth Sparks. 30, Casey Shively. 30 is Casey Shively. 40, Darius Potter. 40, Darius Potter. 44, Caleb Milkey. 44, Caleb Milkey. Number, 50, Perry. Number 50 is Brandon Perry. 52, Cole Holmes. 52, Cole Holmes. 55, Dylan Otto. 55, Dylan Otto. 57, Ryan Bradle. 59, Terry Buck. 65, Spencer Park. Number 77, Drake Renfer. And the head coach is Travis Waddell. Take it over for McBain there, Chad. Well, for McBain tonight, they're going to announce their defense, and we have uh, defensive back number three, Gavin Seelan. Uh, outside linebacker number four, Justin Camphouse. Uh, D-line number 18, Andrew Sykema. Another defensive back, number 22, Brett Camphouse. Outside linebacker, number 34, Logan Rodenbaugh. Defensive back, number 35, Cole Sealand. 
Defensive line, number 50, Sean Sikama. Uh, linebacker, number 51, Chase Vandenboss. Defensive end, number 55, Kyle Hamilton. Defensive line, number 75, Owen Bonico. And linebacker, number 89, Tristan Reed. That's your Rambler defense for tonight. The captains are out at midfield for tonight's game. We've got uh, Spencer Park, uh, Ethan Ansick. Uh, five is Jaden Perry and also Hunter Rule. Can you get the numbers for McBain? McBain, out there? it looks like Andrew Sikama, Chase Vandenboss, Sean Sikama, and Kyle Hamilton are the captains tonight. All right, great. And uh, Manton will uh, the uh, will receive, and they will be protecting the north. We've got uh, we had some strong northwest wind, but it's really has died down quite a bit. There's a little bit of a breeze, but not like it was, so it could be perfect here for football. Big crowd filing in. Good to see the floats as uh, you know, oh, pre-game. Yeah. yeah, this is one of the bigger crowds that I've seen here. I mean, we got them packed in tonight. Looks like uh, everybody's here for a big game, so. And we've got uh, the McBain crowd uh, the filling old, up the... The old McBain faithful will be showing up pretty soon. You'll see them lining the fence. <laughs> All right. The uh, players are taking the field. And uh, we want to let you know that tonight we are going to be doing the player profiles of the game. And, and so uh, uh, each quarter of the game we'll, we'll highlight or feature one of the players. We're going to do two from Manton and two from McBain. So uh, that's uh, something new for the Highland Conference that we've been doing with Cadillac. And it's working out. People really enjoy that. Looks like Andrew Sikkim is going to kick off here. We've got Rule and uh, Perry for the Rangers back to receive. And two guys with really good speed back there, and either one of those guys can take it all the way. So got to really get down there and corral them up if you kick it deep to them. Sikama lefty? He is a left-footed kicker. Okay, you don't see that very often. Not very often you see D lineman as your kicker either. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> but he does have a pretty good leg. They just squib it on the ground right trying to, to keep it away from the deep guys. But uh, if you see there, the uh, front line guy scooped it right up. So Matten with good field position here. Yeah, that was uh, Cole Holmes. So great field position to start the game. You know, and I, I think, you know, they they want to kick it on the ground and keep it away from them. But you do want it to go a little bit further than that. I mean, yeah. I think he just needs to kick it a little harder and then it'll go by that first line. But uh, number 52 there made a nice grab on that. Jake Renfer is the center for the Rangers. We have Hunter Rule as the quarterback. Rule with the give in the backfield. McBain trying to bring him down. He plows forward for a good three, four yards. You know, those three, four yards there, but one thing I did notice there is they, they bobbled the snap, and, you know, Coach Waddell had said they had some problems with that in the past, and right there in the first play, they had a little bobble between the center and quarterback. That was Darius Porter, number 40. Uh, Darius is a senior for Manton. Looks like he's got some pretty decent he's size a, to him. He's a big boy to be in the backfield there. Yeah. They've also got Solani back there with uh, Jaden Perry. Rule with a quick give a up quick the middle to Jaden Perry. Broke into, the broke into the open there. Perry's at the 30, down to the 25, the 10, 5, touchdown Rangers right off the bat, Jaden Perry. Just a little off tackle play right there. Nobody sealed that corner or that off tackle play, and off he went. Once he broke through the line, that speed, man, he got outside and yeah, and. Uh, the one thing that Matten does really have is all, you know, the quarterback and three of those, all three of those running backs, they can break it and take it. So. We'll, uh, Chad, we'll see if we can get a replay after the extra point attempt here. Uh, but boy, what a way to start the game for the homecoming crowd here in Manton. We'll see what their kicking game is like or if they're, they're going to go, go for two. Looks like they're going to go for two here. Okay. Oh, no. They are oh. going to kick it. Ethan Ansick is the kicker. Ansick. Holder is going to be uh, Jaden Perry. Snap is good. Ansick with the kick. And he looked like he kick got it good. right down the middle. So seven points right off the bat for the Rangers in the first quarter here. You know, we talked a little bit early about the Ranger offense, you know, how potent it is now. Let's see, uh, you know, what, uh, if their defense can uh, step it up tonight. So, you know, McBain's had a lot of points scored lately too, so. And uh, looks like maybe no replay on that one. Uh, we'll get, we'll get the, the next TD going here. 
Real quick on our sponsors, Chad, we have a second here. If we can uh, yeah, get those going. Yeah, we got going. a lot of sponsors tonight. That's uh, great. Wolverine Power Cooperative, Great Lakes Energy, Munson Healthcare, Cadillac Rehab Services, Cadillac Tire, Napa with locations in Cadillac, Lake City and Big Rapids, Lake City Materials, The Walkley Agency, Fox Motors of Cadillac, Godfrey Chevrolet Buick, Pizza Plus, Emerald Vale Golf Course, and Latitude 44. A big thanks to all these sponsors for bringing this sports presentation. You know, we're going to need a separate page just for all of our <laughs> sponsors, so this is, this is awesome. We were talking about this earlier. You know, the more the people get to see the games and the in the production, uh, they want to get in on it. Yep. And and I see some of the the local with Emerald Vale and Latitude. You know, so they're yep. jumping into jumping in on their the home team games. And yep. uh, Ansick is going to kick off. We have, I think the Sealand brothers are both deep. Here's a kick over towards the ten yard line, picked up right at the fifteen. Cole Sealand Cole slips oh, down. Slipped on the, the turf 20, there. Yep. Twenty two. There was a hole line. there too. So now the Ramblers will go to work on their first possession, offensive possession, and the, the Rangers. Uh, I know that's one of the things talking in the pregame to uh, Coach Waddell. You know, they want to try and, you know, get a, tighten down a little bit on their defense. So yep. we'll see how they do. He did say they're going to an even front tonight, so it's probably going to be a 4-4, four, 4-3 four, four, here. Uh, McBain coming out with twins. They've got uh, Hooker. Michael Hooker out to the left. It looks like they're man-to-man -man out there, too. So yeah. you know, they're, uh, they're going to try to get the run and cover with two guys. So Right off the bat, there's a handoff up the middle. Still going, oh. number 34. That's Rodenbaugh. Rodenbaugh. He's first down. Nice run. You know, that was right behind uh, the right side of the line there, the two Sycamore boys. You know, you got two of the biggest guys out there. If they get their hands on you, yeah. uh, well, they're going to push you. So they did a nice job on that first play. And, and but they're both 162, 163, and they're both 275. 275, I mean, you know, and that's they might be a little bigger than that. Right. <laughs> and uh, supposedly maybe some distant uh, relationship yep. there. All right, first down for the Ramblers on the still on the the twins, 37. Twins left. There's that Up dive the middle, again. Sealand, nice gash there. You know, every the first two plays here, McBain's getting a real push on the line right there. Matten's going to have to do some slanting or something to try to slow that down and try to avoid those big guys. They're going to have to use quickness because size-wise, McBain definitely has the advantage there. Hunter Rule had the tackle on that play. It is now second down and fairly short. I want to say about three yards for – can't see the scoreboard over here. You get a good view of it. 44-yard line, second and three. And we get There's Rodenbaugh again. Rodenbaugh. He is. And he's pushing forward for another first down. Yeah. I lost track of him at first. <laughs> <I> was, <laughs> yeah, it looked like they had him stop for a second there, and then he busted out again. So McBain will move the sticks again. You know, and this right now is kind of playing like we kind of thought. Matten's got the big hits. You know, they use their speed, and McBain tries to methodically drive down the field. And that's what we're seeing here. And that's something that can wear the D down over the course oh, of the game. Oh, no definitely. And it can problem. demoralize you after a while, too, when you constantly are trying to stop somebody and they physically are beating on you. Richard Fauble, number 77, is the center for the Ramblers. UTech will pitch it out to the left, trying to cut up field. Is that Ealing, number eight? It's Austin Ealing. Austin on the, Ealing, okay. On the pitch right there. You know, we've been hitting the dive. McBain's been hitting the dive, the dive, and now he pulled it and gave the pitch trying to... Trying to sneak it on the outside right there. Ryan Perry came up with a nice tackle there for the Rangers. So we're at uh, second and ten now. Okay. Just over the 50-yard line. Seven to nothing. The Rangers have a lead here in the first quarter. We are coming to you from Manton, Michigan in the Highland Conference. Now this could be a toss out to the wide side of the field here. Gonna, yep, There's a give to Cole there. Sealand. Sealand with a little bit of space, and he'll take number 11, and the whole rest of the team another six yards you, on that we, play. And it's it's just poor tackling right now. I mean, guys are grabbing with the arms, and they, they're not. There's no nobody's coming up with their pads, and you're not going to stop anybody when you try to grab them. Yeah. Now the tackle is credited to Solani, but basically he was he just went for a ride for six <laughs> yards, and he got a tackle. Yep. So another first down for the Ramblers. They look very impressive on their run game so far. Big number 65, that's uh, Spencer Park as the nose tackle for the Rangers. There goes Logan Rodenbaugh right up the middle Rodenbaugh again. Rodenbaugh down to the 10-yard line. Finally, he's lassoed from behind, and he's inside the 10. 
You know, and in that play, they opened that dive right there, and the Matten, the Matten D tackle ran upfield about three or four yards, and he ran right by him. So they've got to stay at the line of scrimmage. That was uh, Rodenbaugh is a, a junior, 6'1", 170 and He just came in to replace uh, the injured Noah Hendrickson, and he's doing a great job at that so far. Split out to the left is uh, number 11. Oh. Right up the middle of there, riding uh, Rodenbaugh in this drive. Yep, 77. Jake Renfer with the tackle. Looks like just inside the five-yard line, so it's going to be second down and goal from about the four and a half. McBain methodically going down the field so far. Lights are on here in Manton. we got Sealand and Rodenbaugh. Right behind UTEC. UTEC with the give up to Sealand, and he'll dash into the end zone. Touchdown, Ramblers. Cole Sealand. Cole Sealand untouched Hardly touched. into the end zone. So it is seven to 7-6 here, and uh, McBain answers, uh, chewing up all their yardage on the ground. And McBain normally doesn't kick extra points, so they'll be going for two here. And we'll be uh, – hopefully we can get a – Replay on this one after our two-point conversion attempt. UTEC, uh, quick hitter, and he's stuffed, stuffed right at the right line. There. We got a number nice on play that. play by number 40. Darius Potter. So uh, Manton holds on the extra attempt there, so it is seven to six, and here we go on the replay on that uh, touchdown. Yeah, as you can see, when that came through, it was uh, the line just pushed right down. Yeah, it was off the left, left, left side, and and like I said, a great surge by the offensive line. Um, I want to get our our crew in tonight. Um, our director is Wyatt Van Dynen. Our replay and graphics is going to be Heather Stilson, Renee Convica, Convica on one of the cameras, along with Cameron Maitland. So, great crew here tonight. Uh, Appreciate all the work you do for 26 Sports, CCTV. So Antics we, on the, let's see. Okay, we got Sikama will be kicking. Off kicking. Again. All right. Let's see this time if he tries to kick it on the ground again or if uh, if he uh, tries to kick it a little deeper this time. I'm sure Coach hit, you know, probably said we don't want to do that again. Coming up. This time he gets it through the players down to the yep, 20. He got into an open spot. and Perry picks it up, and he's covered right there at the 25. So much better I think result. that was what he intended to do the first time, but yeah. uh, much better execution that time. Let's see. We've got 7.48 to go here in the first quarter. And uh, just to let you know, coming up as our – player profile in the first quarter is uh, going to be Trevor Solani from the Manton Rangers. So we'll get to that here pretty soon. So starting uh, for the Rangers at their own 25, Hunter Rule and a trio of backs with Ansick out to the left. There's a give in the backfield. Nice job by the Ramblers as they wrap them up, throw them back. Yep. Loss maybe. You know, and again, that play started slow. It looked like there was a little bobble with the snap again. Uh, they're going to have to clean that up. Going to be second and long. We get a tackle. I think there was a, a bunch of tacklers. I don't yep, think there's any one player. Big push right there. And that right side of the line, we've got uh, 50 Sycamore along with, I'm trying to see, 55 Five. for McBain. That's Kyle Hamilton. Kyle Hamilton, okay. He's got some good size to him also. Second and long. Hunter Rule will take the snap. A little okay. bit of a bobble there going out to his right. Here's a pass in the flats to Ansick. Ansick has hit instantly, but he's got some forward progress up to the 30. Good gain there on the good, second good play, and long. But I thought it was a nice stop, too, by Gavin Seeland, kind of stepping up, making the tackle. It's a nice throw, though, by Rule out there. He kind of rolled out, threw a nice little hard pass out to him. Yeah. Way to get some yardage back with second and long, but great tackling by, uh, by Gavin. 
and two weeks ago against Everett, he had six tackles and two interceptions. Yeah, so the sophomore he's grown up before our eyes so yeah, far this year. You know, looking uh, pretty it's comfortable. Kind of fun to watch those sophomores. You know, they yeah. start out wide-eyed, and two, three weeks in, they figured it out. And <laughs> so we got a big play right here, about third and four. Manton hurries up to the line. The Ramblers scrambling around on defense. Looking out to pass. the left. Pass oh. almost intercepted. Almost intercepted that was uh, number four, Justin Camphouse. He's 6'1", 145. Yeah, he reached right up there, and Ansick was open out there, but uh, Justin used his height right there to jump up and almost scooped that right out of there. I was watching the warm-ups, Chad, and uh, Manton. I'm not sure who their punter was because he didn't have his uh, jersey on, but he boomed one over 50 yards it, at that point. Uh, Coach Solani just said, uh, one of the assistants, he says, okay, we're going to end on that one. <laughs> and, you know, it's his son that's the punter. <laughs> oh, Trevor. Okay, he he crushed it. So Trevor Solani, who's back to punt. Good snap. Oh, oh. there's a, oh. a block by block number 50, right and it hits McBain, goes out of bounds, so they're going to have great field position. Uh, we'll see if we can get that one on a replay. That was uh, number 50. Number 50, Sean Sikkeman. And you know that some people would say maybe running into the – kicker there but he hit the ball first so he is allowed to you know run into him then the ball was already kicked yep. so and it's the same thing when you a pass is deflected there's there can be yep, yep we're ready for the replay we'll see uh yeah he just he just went right, right over right him, yep. yeah right through him okay we're uh back to the action here McBain, oh, almost having his head taken off there was uh, uh, Alex Utech. Who was that? Number two, uh, Jacob uh, Hahn. That was Utech oh, on the read. Jacob he, Moore. And, you know, he could have given the dive, but he looked like he read it, that he had something on the outside, but uh, Matten was right there for him. And, and that's really not a – you can't call that a horse collar because he was coming from the front. Yep. The, the player went down and he just went happened down to – and he just happened to slide to there. Yeah. Second down and 11. There's a give right up the middle to Rodenbaugh. Rodenbaugh's got some room all the way down to the 15 and a first down. Very effective on that quick hitter up the middle. Just hitting that so quick, and Matten's guys are running up field, and you know after you run past it, you have to chase. Yeah, and uh, Rodenbaugh is a load. Like I said, 6'1", 170. First down for the Ramblers. Deep in in uh, Ranger territory, Rodenbaugh and Sealand in the backfield. There's a oh, fumble, fumble on the ground. Who's a bunch of players going after it? Is Looks it McBain? Like Sikama, okay, Sikama's got it. Sikama grabbed it. Andrew Sikama. He jumped on that with cat quickness there for a big fella. He's doing it all with the uh, <laughs> kickoffs and the uh, fumble return. You know, they moved him to tight end this year. He's got to be the biggest tight end in northern Michigan. <laughs> now, he just went out, so it looks like they might be spreading it out a little bit right here. Yep. Got their four wide receivers in. With Sealand in the back phone, backfield all alone. Okay. Alex Utech gives it right, right to there. Cole Sealand up the middle. Nice job by the Manton defense to snuff that one out. Maybe a couple hard-earned yards. So we're third down now. This will be two down territory, so they've got two downs to get, you know, six yards here. So They don't have a field goal kicker. Do not start. have okay. a field goal kicker. I didn't think so. And it's going to be spread uh, again, so, yeah. you know, we could get a, you know, some type of pass to Verberkmos in the end zone here, or... You know, they've, now that they've got you spread out, they might try to run one more time. Yeah, Rodenbaugh you know, off the middle. That's been very effective. Manton's got four on the line right now with three linebackers. Out of the shotgun is Utech. Over out. to the right. There's a flag Throws down right up in the end zone. And up and nice job by Verberkmos. Right Touchdown. In. You know, really good way to turn his body and go get that. Yeah. We'll get to – now we'll see what the call was. And McBain is clapping, so maybe it was a, I don't know if it was procedure. We'll get our referee's call right now. Oh, it was against Mc. Touchdown yeah. after the play. 
Well, he actually pointed to McBain on the penalty. Yeah. And I don't what know was what the he, call behind I don't the know back? What that call behind the back is there, and there's the ball still at the. So the two and a half yard line there. So. Okay. Uh, is the touchdown going to stand? Touchdown stands. He said that the touchdown stands. Okay. All right. So. Well, maybe we'll see at halftime. We can figure out what that, that is. What's two hands? I've never the back? seen never seen that one. All right, here comes a two point attempt from McBain. Oh, broken you play yep. right there. Looked like the back. He just turned his head. He ran the wrong way. Yeah, and uh, now we'll we'll see if we can get a look you at know, that. You know, though, that's this can add up. I mean, that's four points they've given away. Mm -hmm. You know, Matten gets comes back and scores well, here. With a six here, they don't even they need to take the lead again. So, extra points can be very important throughout the game here so all right while we have a second here we're going to get with their player profile and that is going to be um, Trevor Solani Trevor is number 11 he is a junior at Manton uh, Trevor's parents are Amy and Eric Solani and he has two brothers Brennan and Jackson Besides football, Trevor plays on the varsity basketball and track team. He also participates in National Honor Society. Trevor's favorite pastimes are basketball, snowboarding, wakeboarding, and hanging out with friends and family. His favorite professional athletes are Jason Tatum and Luke Kennard, both uh, good shooters and clutch players. After high school, Trevor plans to attend college and hopefully play football or basketball because, everybody knows, school is more fun with sports. Congratulations to Trevor for being one of our player profiles of the game. Okay, kicked it off to Perry again. Perry still has the ball. A nice tackle there by Logan Rodenbaugh. Oh, we got a flag. We got a late hit there. All right, here's the, the replay on the uh, touchdown. We'll get the penalty in just a second here. Rolling out, turned his body, went up, good height. He had somebody right on him, but yep. just turned his body right in there. And you know he's six foot six, so I mean that's he's getting it at the high point, and that's tough to defend. We actually talked about that before the game too, yep. about his uh, his parents, you know, being uh, college athletes, and and then he's also a basketball player. Well, and I think on that one too, he was defended by Jaden Perry, who is a great athlete, but he's <laughs> gives up a little what? vertically challenged <laughs> compared to uh, Verkmos there. Ansick might have to be the one that they have out down deep in the end zone like that that defends him. Right. But a great throw by Utec. Uh, by nice Utec. I mean, he put it right where he had to put it. We had a personal foul against Matten, a late hit after the kickoff, which uh, moves him back 15 yards. So after Manton started off with a 7 to nothing lead, McBain has answered with two touchdowns, but they have failed to convert on the extra points. It is now 12 to 7. Here's a hand off the middle. There's an opening. Darius Potter, he's got some space out to the right side. He's at the 40, the 45, all the way to the 50 on a great tackle there. Who's, uh, oh, that was Gavin, Gavin Sealand. You know, and that was one of those plays, again, they faked the jet sweep, you know, thinking you're going to try to hit the edge, and they hit that little inside trap behind it. And it's a nice little play right there. That uh, And he did a great job of hiding the ball there. Oh, yeah. So that's a big run there for Potter. It changes that field position right there because, I mean, they had horrible field position after that penalty, and now they're at midfield. Hunter Rule, number seven. There's a give to Potter. Potter is still on his feet. He can't. They can't hardly bring him down. Finally, they gang tackle him. He is one hard <laughs> runner right there. Three guys on the tackle. Four guys on the tackle right there. Great hard running there by Darius Potter. Of course, it was three DBs and and a and the linebacker that brought him down. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah, we got about second and seven for the Rangers. First quarter, twelve to seven. Chad Grundy and Bill Dooley bringing you the action from Manton Memorial Stadium. I just I don't know if that's what it's called. But <laughs> <laughs> sounds good. Right? Sounds good. A little double or a little wing slot in from er, in line up right there. Back to pass, and he's got some pressure, and he's going to go down. I think that was number four, Justin Camphouse, with the sack. You know, in that, that setup right there, with how they were lined up, that guy off the edge is always going to be unblocked because the wing left 
to go into a pass route, and the quarterback rolled that way, and there's nobody there. Yep. So you've got to account for that guy. Otherwise, stay out of that formation. So that'll drop him back eight yards. It's going to be second down and around 18. Matt and going back just to the straight T now. Handoff on a delay up the middle to uh, Perry. Perry. Perry's got some oh, great moves. He he's in the open. He's at the 30. He's got two guys chasing him. He's at the 10. The 5. Touchdown, touchdown. Jaden Perry. Wow. You know, that's that that's uh, just the inside trap again. It was a little delayed there. It's almost like he waits for the opening and then he takes off. That is amazing. When we see that, that explosiveness on that first or second step. I tell you what, he is, yeah, he is a talented running back right there. I mean, he has that burst. And he's patient at the line. I mean, those are things you don't teach a back. You naturally have those things. And uh, he's been displaying that so far tonight. Wow. This is exactly kind of what we thought about today. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, we're kind of playing the Matt and game right now here. Uh, quick scores, but they've got to, you know, try to hold McBain on, uh, on when they're, with their defense. So They're going to uh, – Ansick will attempt the extra point. It is 13-12 to 12 Matt at this point. Perry with the hold. He gets it down. Here's the kick. Low kick and a little bit off to the no side, good. so no good. A lot of pressure right up the middle there again. Yeah, good surge by the defensive line, and it is 13 to 12. Man Rangers over McBain, and what do we have left here on the time? A minute 39 to go here in the first quarter. See if we can get our sponsors in again here, Chad. Yeah, well, we again want to thank our sponsors tonight. Uh, Wolverine Power Cooperative, Great Lakes Energy, Munson Healthcare, Cadillac Rehab Services, Cadillac Tire, Napa with locations in Cadillac, Lake City, and Big Rapids, Lake City Materials, The Walkley Agency, Fox Motors of Cadillac, Godfrey Chevrolet and Buick, Pizza Plus, Emerald Vale Golf Course, and Latitude 44. I want to thank all of you, all of our sponsors for bringing you this uh, presentation tonight. We'd also like to uh, tell you that if you'd like to uh, become a sponsor, you could call our sales team at 231 577 one eight four four or email sales at mynews 26.com great and we can never have too many sponsors this is this is really nice to see that list growing all right ethan ansick number 14 will kick it off for the rangers this time he boots it deep high end over end back is gavin sealand He's at the 20, the 25. He's got some, he's got some space at the 30, and then he's hit hard there. Oh, we got the, the ball on the ground. And I think Logan McBain, Roden, or, no, get, or Cole Sealand recovered Cole. that. His brother got it and saved Flying his. Flying right in there. Wow. Looked close like he almost might have been down when he when he fumbled that anyways. But, uh, right. So he, he, he showed uh, a burst of speed right there, he too. D he did. Yeah. Nice run back all the way to the uh, just over the 30-yard line. That's where McBain will go to no. work. We'll see again this this time you know is is McBain going to be able to you know methodically move down the field again has Matten made an adjustment to try to stop that or UTech with a quick hitter up the middle this time Manton getting loose is Rodenbaugh on the right side he's got a first down cuts back to the inside he's still going Rodenbaugh is still on his feet oh, we, we got, got a flag. flag could have been a could horse been collar a face or a face mask, mask. Or a horse collar there you know and one thing you know we talked in pregame about Matten going to this four-man front and I'm wondering now how they're getting beat up the middle, if that could be something that we might see them adjust away from and go back to a five-man front and have a guy right there in the middle. Yeah. I mean, you had some big, quick hitters straight up the middle early on. That time, Rodenball kind of kicked it out yep. wide. Yep. But he, he made his first move in and kicked it out. This is going to be a, a 15. Harder. Boy, that hurts. A big run and then tack on 15 all the way down to the 30-yard line. It's amazing. One play, you're starting off on the 30, and now you're, now you're on the 30. other 30. So, yeah, you can't give up. If you want to win a game, you don't give up chunks like that. No. I think Coach Waddell is not liking what he's seeing. There might be a little butt-chewing going on right here. All right. This is going to give us a little bit of time here, uh, Chad, to talk about our, our – uh, crew here are, are set up um, we also want to talk tonight a little bit about our all of our sports broadcasters are produced with cooperation with Wexford Misaki Career Tech Center CCTV and my news 26 students run cameras graphics and instant replay supervised by a pro director this year we have two completely outfitted vans filming two different football games every week uh, games first air on Fridays at 11 p.m. and Saturdays at 11 p.m. 
Replays are Saturday and Sundays at 4 p.m. Check MyNews26.com for additional scheduling info. DVDs are available at cctv-cadillac.org and MyNews26.com. You can order a single game or a box set of either Cadillac, McBain, Manton, Mesick, Pine River, or Lake City. Be a great gift for Christmas time coming up here pretty soon. Oh, yeah. Christmas graduation gifts. Uh, and like I said, you can get the whole box set uh, from whatever. I think four games for Manton and McBain. We have three for Mesick, three for Pine River. So uh, good even coverage yep. there. Here we go again. First and ten. There's a give off the right slant, and that was Cole Seelan with some good hard good running. Good hard run right there again. And, you know, he got seven or eight yards right there. Yeah, he did. Number three for Manton took one of the hits. Uh, well, no, that might have been two, Jacob War. Second and short for the Ramblers. This is an offensive explosion here in the first quarter. It is. There hasn't been any defense played not, yet, that's for not sure. Not too much. Alex Utek, the quarterback for the Ramblers. Right up the middle. Nice Good job there. To right there. He was slammed body into Body slammed. Is that uh, run, run for number 70? Yeah, yeah, Jake, uh, run for you know, number 77. Matt, Matt is known for its wrestling. I, I, I'm wondering if that kid's a wrestler <laughs> because he threw him down like a wrestler. <laughs> what we got here? She had a third and short, right? Third and short. You know, third and a long one. You know, I'd say, if, you know, what's been working all night long is that, you know, dive right up the middle there. And we might see Sealand here. Utec off the right side, still on his feet with a burst of speed, cutting back to the middle, and finally he's brought down, but that's a first that's down. Auden, Auden Ealing right there. Austin Ealing. Nice run. And is Austin he, is a... Um, he is a junior. He's a junior, okay. His and his brother was Logan. Logan was a quarterback last year, and okay. he is playing basketball now at Rochester University down oh. uh, downstate. That's great. So we got first and goal here from the nine. Is the quarter's going to end up here with the uh, the score after the first quarter? It's the Manton Rangers thirteen and the McBain Ramblers twelve. You are watching high school football action on 26 Sports and CCTV. We'll be right back with the second quarter. 